Hey, Dad, what you working on? 1977 Lincoln Town Car. Continental Town Car back in 1977. 460 automatic. Really clean old car. Lots of car here. I love the looks of it. Dark blue metallic. Really clean, darked out windows and everything else. Really nice little car. I was getting ready to kind of walk around it with you here. Got a few rock chips here in the front, not too bad. The paint overall, I don't think it's ever been painted or anything. I think it's been some buffing done. I can kind of see where they buff through it and things like that. But overall, it's really nice shape. It's got something, he said he stored it and some stuff dripped on here and it kind of etched the paint a little bit. But that's been a long time ago, but it's still there. We, we tried to buff that and we couldn't get it off of there, so. It's like 24 feet long we measured the other day. Dang, that's yeah, freaking long. It's a neat car. But uh, I don't know what else to say about it, but it's really fun to drive. You want to ride in some luxury? This is luxury. You know, they say these new cars got luxury. This car, this is luxury. This thing, you can ride through a big old dip and it just floats through it. I, it's just so cool about these old cars, how they used to ride. And this is what they luxury meant was a car like this. But uh, yeah, it's like I said, there ain't no big old dings or dents. There's a few dents that we've been sitting around were little door dings, but nothing too major. I don't think it's ever been wrecked. Um, so like I said, the car belonged to the, 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 the funeral home for quite some time. So they let it, finally got rid of it and these people ended up with it and they're moving out of, out of the actual, out of the states. And uh, they just don't, can't take it with them and they asked me if I would sell it for them. So that's kind of where we're at. Let's come back here and look at the taillights, Nick. All right, let's go. But this is just a big old reflector here. There ain't no lights. That man, could you imagine what they could have done if they had LEDs like we have nowadays? That would have been a big old thing, kind of like the Chargers have on. But the bumpers and stuff are really good shape. Black windows. The vinyl top is immaculate. The, that thing is just, for 47 years old, you will probably won't find a better vinyl top than that. That thing is just mint condition. I couldn't believe the condition of the vinyl top. The windshield is probably the original windshield. It's got a few pits and chips in it. But uh, overall, really nice car. Somebody will really enjoy this. Still has a lot of life left in it. So the only thing I can say, let's go for a cruise. Let's do some luxury. Yeah, let's go. All right. Let's go for a luxury ride. Like I said, everything works on this whole thing. Start right up. Tilt wheel. Seats adjust over here. The mirrors are remote mirrors, not electric. Remote, so they have cables around over that one and this one both. Yeah. Oh, I like that little smoker window. See that? We well, can get your ashes out there. We'll get them out before this window comes down. It'd be a little quicker. Yep, pretty cool car. Headliner is immaculate shape. The interior is nice. This is real leather, by the way. I mean, some imitation stuff. Let's take a first spin. Look at that hood. Oh my. A lot of car out there in front of you. I think they were pretty safe cars too back in the day. In 77, they were getting on that to crash deal pretty heavy with Ford now. I feel pretty safe in it. I wouldn't want to hit a small car with it for sure. See how nice those cattle gates just work? Oh, it's smooth. <laughs> this was a ride. It's amazing how they rode. You know, they got rid of, you know, they were shocks and they had big tires on them and they rode good because of that. Nowadays they've got struts and the struts are just right to the body and you get a lot more you know, noises out of the struts and stuff like that. And the, 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 they're nice when they first get them, but a lot of strut noises happen in these bigger cars. like what they consider a big car. This is what I consider a big car. But uh, a really nice car. I like the speedometer. It's got that big old solid chunk that goes up. Has a little thing that follows it up. Check that out. That's pretty neat. The radio works. You know what, Nick? You ever heard of an 8-track? I've heard of them. Never used one before. Well, we got Chuck Mangoni. We're gonna. I always used to hit mine like that. I don't, I don't remember why, but I did. Eight track works. Ow! 
<laughs> That's pretty cool. That brings back some memories. I used to have cars that had that thing in it. That's why it's cool. It's a really cool car. It's I think 460. I don't know what this car probably weighs. Probably 6,000 pounds, I suppose. 5,800. It's got to be up there somewhere. One, one thing I noticed, we're going about 55 right now. I, there, I can feel just a little bit of U-joint in it. Just kind of... So... It could be you join or something like that, but the, the, they're pretty much just letting me sell the car as is, where it is, and uh, it makes somebody a super nice car. You can see the steering is nice, doesn't shake all over the place or anything else. Like I said, I'm running 60 right now, and it's running smooth. Cool car. Brakes nice. Let's put some brakes on here, and let's check this out. See, here's my hand. I mean, a bunch of weeping and whopping and everything else going on in the brakes are nice and smooth when they stop. This car was well maintained, I know that, because the, I know who the funeral home is. They always took good care of their stuff, so the car's always had good health in that aspect. It hasn't just set her. And probably in the last, oh, I'd say they sold it probably seven, eight years ago, probably, and it set probably more then than ever has all its life. You know, they drove it enough to keep the bugs out of it and everything else. Every summer that you'd always get it out. I remember seeing, I always liked the looks of the car because I always liked that dark blue. And uh, they'd be cruising around downtown with it. So I always liked this car. It was neat. You know, it was the biggest car you could get back in 1977. And after that, they started squaring them up more and making them smaller and smaller. And you'll never see another town car like this again. It's, it's kind of sad to say that, but uh, you could probably build 10 new cars out of this one big car. I remember most of these things have been crushed and, you know, there ain't too many of them left on the road anymore. This one here with the dark windows and everything looks pretty cool. They, the tents off this one here, I don't think they, they had this thing worked on here and I don't think they ever had it retinted. Uh, windshield's got a little bit of a crack. It's not really up in the driver's view or anything. I think that's about it. I don't know what else I can say about it, but like and subscribe and we'll see you at the auction. All right, we're gonna do a cold start on this 77 Lincoln Town Car. Exhaust is cold, it's been sitting here. It's about 45 degrees in here right now. We keep it around 45, 50 in the shed here with the cars. So, let's see how she fires up. On a carburetor, you always wanted to get in, push the carburetor down once to the floor, let off, and she'll fire up. That's how it's supposed to work. Started up pretty good. <laughs> That's what I mean. It's a nice old car. Neat old car. All right. There's our cold start. 